everybody, it is Carla the Bubble Lush. Um, I am 39 and a half weeks pregnant and I am finally ready to show you Hannah's nursery. Finally. <laughs> Thank you guys for being so patient with me. I just wanted to make sure it was perfect before I shared it with you. So, um, first I wanted to say that when I found out I was having a girl, I was so, so excited. However, I had no idea what I wanted to do with the nursery. I was thinking my whole, you know, first trimester that I was having a boy, <laughs> so I had completely planned a boy's nursery. And when I had to change gears and figure out what I wanted to do for my little girl, I had no idea. So I know how overwhelming it can be, especially if you're trying to plan a nursery kind of from scratch and not go based on a bedding set. So I'm going to do a separate video talking about how I planned her nursery, <laughs> I guess. Um, but I wanted to say one of the reasons why I love her room so much is that I really took the opportunity to add my own little touches everywhere I could. So when I sit in her glider and look around the room, I see all the tiny little projects that I've spent months and months working on. Um, but I love it because her room feels really, really personal. And um, I feel like I filled it with as much love as I could, so I'm really, really proud of it, and I hope you like it, and um, I hope you think it was worth the wait. <laughs> so what I'm going to do is, uh, I'm filming this on the bloggy, I hope it turns out alright, at least it'll be in high def, but um, the bloggy doesn't zoom out very well, so hopefully, hopefully this works. I'm going to flip you guys around and walk you through her room. Okay, so... This is the view from the hallway. Her nursery entrance is uh, directly across the hall from our master bedroom. So this is what it looks like from the hall. Um, there's a window. And I'm going to walk in and then spin around and give you the 360 and then I'll go kind of area by area and um, show you more of the details. So that is the door that we just walked in and this is her crib you guys saw um, how Chris and I did the wall treatment we shared that with you in another video there's our glider and uh, a big window that overlooks the front of the house this is her changing area and then her closet. Okay, so, and the door. So I'm going to start with her crib. This is, um, her crib is a baby Italia Pinehurst lifestyle crib, I believe. We bought it at Babies R Us, um, February of 2010. So we really, really like it. it um, it's not a drop side, but it is a convertible. So you can buy the rails and she can grow with it, I guess. <laughs> Probably we'll just use it for other children, though. So, inside. This is a really, really cute sheet that I bought at a consignment event. Um, I believe it's Serco brand, available from Target. And then I have a pink sheet saver that I also bought at a consignment event. And um, I have a couple of them because they're so useful. For if the baby spits up, you can just change the sheet saver instead of having to rip up the sheets in the middle of the night. So, I like that. This is her crib skirt, and uh, you'll be able to see this fabric more in other places in our room, but I made her a little crib skirt. And those are my birthday balloons that I should probably take out of here. <laughs> but they've just been in her room for months. Um, above it is hanging an Ikea light fixture. I'll put the link down in my belly bar. What I did was, um, it comes in two sizes. We bought the larger diameter. And when I bought it, I didn't really like that it was just a white frame with the lights wrapped around it. So I went to Joann's and I bought ribbon that's really thick. It was probably two or three inches thick. I took two big spools and I wrapped it all the way around and then rewrap the lights around it. And then I hung these um, butterflies that I bought from Michael's 
and they're made out of feathers. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you, try to show you what it looks like from Hannah's perspective. So see their little butterflies? They're pink and white and green and yellow. So, I really liked that. This is a little shelf that I bought at a kind of a artsy home decor store that was closing. And um, on top we've got our monitor, it's Safety First brand. It came with two receivers, you know, um, I guess one receiver will be in our bedroom, the other will be in the living room. We weren't going to spend a lot of money on a baby monitor, so we just bought one at a consignment event and it works and it's fine. <laughs> so. That is her crib. Oh, also, some of you mentioned in my hospital bag that I might want to pack zero to three clothes just in case Hannah is big, and I am one step ahead of you. I had to take them out of my diaper bag, though, because I ran out of room, but I have some sleepers and some onesies and uh, stuff all ready to go. And then on the back of her door is a zero to three going home outfit. So if she is huge, I can have family members bring home some bigger clothes. Okay, moving on. So, this wall is really, really special, and I want to show you. I'm going to turn off the light fixture. Okay. Ooh. All right. So I wanted to make sure that her father and I were represented in the room, so I enlarged our baby pictures. So this is Christopher's baby picture when he was just a couple hours old. So cute. And that, of course, is Hannah's um, sonogram picture from 22 weeks. And um, this is my baby picture. Oh, such a glare. Sorry. <laughs> um, that is when I was two hours old. I was a C-section baby, which is why I'm not all puffy and stuff. <laughs> I looked pretty cute coming out. So when um, when we get Hannah's newborn pictures, we'll probably put that in there instead. But I like it because, you know, her father and I are in the room with her. And then we can kind of see who she looks like. So right next to the glider, um, the glider we bought at Babies R Us on sale with a coupon. Um, and this little side table, I bought off Craigslist is an Ikea table, but I think it is the design has since been discontinued. But it is exactly what I wanted, so I'm so happy that I found it. This bookcase, I'm going to post a video talking about how our father and I made this because I think you guys will freak out when you see the before. But I wanted to show you some of the things we did. So I bought this lamp base at Goodwill for $2.99. And then I bought this this uh, lampshade. It was just basic white at Target. I think it was about seven bucks. And I used fabric that I had from her baby quilt and covered the lampshade using a tutorial I found online, just with some uh, spray adhesive and I guess patience. <laughs> I bought the little birdie at Michael's. I think he's so cute. I have this picture frame. Um, it's me and one of my Ooh, childhood best friends. So when she comes, I guess I'll replace the picture. <laughs> this little plate is from my husband. It uh, in his hometown they did made these personal plates that have like like on the let's see on the little cuckoo clock is the time he was born, and on the little scale that's on the dresser is how much he weighed and uh, his name is on the crib, and his birth date is on the little banner that's hanging above the crib. It's totally personalized and super cute, so I wanted to make sure it was in the room. This is a stuffed animal that Chris bought me on one of his many boys' trips to Vegas. And uh, this is a picture of Chris and I the very first time we came to Oregon, so he can meet the parents. And um, it's the first time we went to the vineyard that we ended up getting married at, so I'll probably change out this picture once she gets here, but for right now it's pretty special. Here are some of her books, and uh, Beatrix Potter was like my favorite growing up, so I have the little, the entire collection 
of Beatrix Potter in miniature tiny little books. They're super cute. And uh, the silver cup is my husband's baby cup. And this little blue, I don't know, elephant planter <laughs> kind of weird thing was um, a baby gift that his mother received when he was a little, little babe. So it went with the room and I thought it was pretty cute. That is a shower gift and some of my husband's baby books. And then I've got a tub with blankets. It's just some receiving blankets and stuff so that's close by. 